Hi everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to install Prodigy for PlayStation 3 on your computer if you're running on Linux. So first of all you want to install Wine, which is already installed. Then you want to install um, P7-Zip full, which is also already installed. Now you want to make a new directory called TM, and you want to move in TM. Now you want to run Prodigy for PlayStation 3 with Wine, like this. You want to click on Extract MSI Files, and you want to leave Check only the first four one. All right, like this. You want to extract them to your new folder called TM. Like this, and you want to click on cancel, and we're done. Now you have four files. You want to make a new directory for the documentation, and you want to move. Oh, let's say debugger documentation. You want to remove the debugger and put a star instead, and you want to move them to the documentation folder, like this. So you want to move in docs and you want to extract the first file which is debugger documentation for PlayStation 3.msi like this. Perfect. Do the same comment but for target manager. It will ask if you want to overwrite your some files. Just press A for always. Doesn't matter. Perfect, now you want to remove the MSI files. And that's it. You want to go back. And you want to make a new directory for the debugger. And you want to move the debugger MSI file. In the debugger folder. Now you want to move in the debugger folder. And you want to extract it. Like this. You want to remove the MSI file. And you want to go back. There is only one, la uh, one file left. So you want to extract it to target manager. Like this. So yeah, that's pretty much how you install the Prodigy debugger and the target manager for a computer running on Linux. Um, you have right there the PS3TM GUI, which is the user interface. You want to run it with Wine. And there you go. My PS3 is not connect and kind of lazy, but it's working. I mean, I can add it. I can go into console output, file explorer, and the kernel explorer. And I'll leave it. And I can go in the new folder called debugger and run the debugger, which is ps3debugger.exe, right there. There is many files that are useless, like all these C++ files and headers. But yeah, it can be useful if you want to see some stuff made for, made with a target manager. I mean it's really cool like the commands, capture commands, arguments and everything. It's really cool. And for the DLL, it's right there. There is the PS3 TM API underscore net DLL and the normal DLL right there. And the header. And the DLL if you run 64 bits. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll make some new tutorials on modding on Linux soon. So yeah, stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks for watching.